Let's rock, baby. That's crazy! Bring it on! Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus also known as G, -G, 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 -G virus and we're back at it again with more Let's play Devil May Cry HD collection blind blind meaning I've never played it before and I'm playing it for my very first time for your viewing pleasure last episode We made it up to uh, a boss fight with nightmare. I guess that's what its name was. It's another big blob We fought a bunch of big blobs, but I guess this one was special. He was nightmare Or maybe we've been fighting him all this time and he's just been going away and then coming back and this time we finally put him away for good I don't know, but we're in the underworld. We made our way after doing some hellacious platforming, after traversing some hellacious areas, some frightening areas, some nightmare-worthy areas. We've made it to this big door, a big boss door, I guess, and we're now we're on mission 22, legendary battle. So it is my belief that this could be the finale of this playthrough right here. Anything that's called legendary battle has got to be, you know, I just came through a huge boss door, like a huge ass door. So this has to be it. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a vital star. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can afford. <laughs> can't really afford, I, I would like to have a purple orb, but I can't really afford that. You know, yellow orb, don't really need it. Would be nice to have two more blue orbs because then I could have an increase to my health, but don't have enough or any blue orbs to do that. So, this is what I'm working with here. Maybe I should grab some holy water. I'm gonna grab some holy water. Maybe I could spam holy water on the thing. Whatever, I'm fighting. If it's that thing in that background right there, he's probably gonna be airborne, which is gonna be problematic for me. And holy water might not even work. Oh, it's all pretty and bright. Oh, this is definitely a change of pace from where I was at. We, we, we go from hell to heaven. Ah, oh, look at this, Dante. You can really take a load off, you know? Take your boots off, kick your feet up. Drink some tea, smell some flowers, eat some grapes. This is nice. Look at this. Wow. We're going to have to fight a gigantic statue. Where's Kratos when you need him? Let's investigate this. Look how bright it is out there. Can I go over there? What happens if I... Nope, invisible barrier. Oh, should have guessed it. Alright, somebody's really playing... What is that, an organ? The pipes? The pipes are calling me. So I guess this is where it's gonna go down, huh guys? 22 missions of pure, unadulterated action. How's my health looking? Fully revived. All right, we're ready. Let's do it. Why does Dante have a shirt? Why does Dante have a white outline on him? Is that from the light? It's weird. Pretty little area. All right, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. And pull out my shotgun. The shotgun's been very good to me. Let's let's go into this battle with the trusty boomstick that has been literally the best weapon in my eyes. I barely used ebony and ivory. I have the other weapon out. I must think Susparda. Strange fate, isn't it? Mm -mm. Strange and ironic that it will end the same way. <laughs> Irony has favored you this time. Look there. Oh, we don't care. Don't even think about it. Blink. She died. She doesn't even have shackles around her wrists. Get down. You don't have any shackles around your wrists. There's nothing holding you there. Hop down, Trish. We all know skewering Dante doesn't work. We've seen it over and over and over again. So sad that humans will always be humans. No more. Has the spot of blood been spoiled over the ages? Now, die! 
I knew she was bullshitting. Well, is she returning the favor now? No. Useless scum. Failure is one thing, but taking an odd behavior like that. What is the matter? It is time to end your pitiful life. Oh shit, he's got Superman eyes. He just had a breakthrough. He's about to go Super How Saiyan. How much longer are you going to keep sapping? Come out and show yourself, Mundus! Uh oh. I can already tell. This is gonna be a hard fight. Where'd Trish body go? This is gonna be a tough battle. Yep, that was him back there. Look at the wings. Ew. That gaping hole in your chest, my friend. We're gonna fight in space. <laughs> oh, I wanted to fight in that pretty area. Good lord, I'm about to get owned so bad. Why, my mother? That useless being? If you need a mother, I can create it. As many as you want. Just like I created Trish. Silence! I wonder if this Force Edge blade is actually useful now. That's what it's called, right? Or is it Soul Edge? Or is that a completely different game I'm thinking about? I just do a fucking... A sonic spin dash into the air? Uh-oh. Oh shit, we got new powers right here. I don't know... So this isn't gonna be relying on my abilities that I've honed throughout this whole game. The skills that I've acquired throughout this whole game. It's gonna be some new transformation I'm gonna be wielding. That I've never used before. Oh no. What is this, Star Fox? Oh no! Oh no. This is some new shit. I don't know what I'm doing. What? Whoa. <laughs> shit, can I can I double uh can I double star it up and just keep doing that? I'll just keep doing that shit. Fuck it. Yeah, let's hit him again. I got it. <laughs> the Devil Star ends up being the key to this battle. How about that? I'm pretty sure this is battle one of two or three. Fuck it, you know? I'll, I don't care. I'll exploit the hell out of that. Who would have guessed that these Devil Stars would be my trump card to victory? Oh, shit! Let's give him one more. Fuck it. Shit, I'm not gonna play fair. You see this guy? Adios, muchacho. Uh-oh. I knew it wasn't gonna be over. That was way too easy. And now we're gonna have to rely on the abilities and skills we've been using throughout this whole entire playthrough. Slashing and jumping and shooting. Yep. What's up with those white lines, man? On the edge of the screen. I see them on my computer as well. I knew it. Maybe I shouldn't have used all my damn double stars. I think I only have one left. Shit. Oh, shit. That's not gonna do anything. How the fuck do I get up there? He's far away. Oh! I guess I have to platform my way up there. Oh! <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. If I gotta rely on platforming myself. 
Damn, look at how quickly that, that fucks me up. Maybe shooting isn't such a bad idea. Feels to me that the most of the boss battles come down to my slashing ability and how close I can get with my weapon and the damage I can do with that. This one appears like I might be able to do some work here, actually. Let's try Nightmare Beta. Doesn't this I think this zaps my my devil trigger health. Yeah, it does, and I'm not even connecting. A waste of time. In the end, still a, wa a useless weapon. I'm wondering if I should use devil arms. Oh, that's right. I I don't have a. I think I should just hop around, you know. Oh shit! He has a big opening on his back, or is no? That's just where his his crap's coming from. I'm missing up a storm. Can't land a hit. We're gonna be here all day. Shit. I think I should just stick with the shotgun. <sighs> what the hell? Oh, he's sucking them all in. But for what? Wait, I thought I... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look at my health. Yeah, this isn't going to happen. We're done. You can forget about it. I don't know the first thing to do here. This is going to require a lot of trial and error. Okay. I should have hung on to those devil stars. I should just buy me a shit ton of those. Oh shit. <laughs> How about that? I beat him somehow with hardly any health left. I just went into devil trigger mode and just started attacking. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And of course the fight's not over. You think the fight's over? You got it. Oh, he's just screaming in anguish, pretty, pretty loudly. I think that might be it. I think we did it. That was bullshit. <sighs> I feel cheap. Like I, I, I cheaped. I cheat. I, that, that wasn't a really engaging fight. Not that I wanted it to be hard. I just wanted it to like really just. You got to use the skills you've been using this whole game to really take him out. And nope. You got like some superior devil trigger shit. So I guess. Soul Edge is actually useful for once. Who would have guessed My it? Mother risked her life for me, and now you too. I should have saved you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. <laughs> Yes, super anime. I love it. It's lying. Oh, his tears are gonna resurrect her. Oh, I guess it's not super anime after all. With a pendant resurrector. Ooh, right in the right in between those things. You knew what you were doing. Now I'm giving it to you. So My pretty. Is also here now. Even in death. Rest in peace. So pretty, even in death. I mean, who cares? I don't care about Trish. When you first met Trish, she was trying to bash her motorcycle over her head. You know? The devil went down to. The devil went down to? Okay. 
I don't give a shit. I don't care about your D. I don't care. I beat it. You better give me like a thousand. Yeah. You should've gave me two thousand. NEXT MISSION?! What?! What?! NEXT MISSION?! Oh my goodness! Come on, that's not enough! Uh, I did think that was a little too easy. This better be like some fun little bonus mission, you know? I gotta carry Trisha's body somewhere, or light some candles and send her off on a boat or something. It better be some shit like that. I better not be having to fight more people. Damn it. I just had a breakthrough. Soul Edge is actually useful and all that. I had red glowing eyes, said a nice little thing to Trish there in the cutscenes. What? Oh, I gotta do some escaping. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'll definitely give myself one of those. Fun is not over yet. Holy water. Ah, untouchable. Don't I have that already? Yeah, that's why I can't buy it. No, just leave it at that. Damn, man. It's still not over yet, huh? Oh, no. I'm not gonna check Trisha's body for nothing. I don't care. Um. Oh shit! Oh! Get the fuck out of here. Just just like a Capcom game from back in the day to have a countdown sequence and you need to escape. Oh no, fuck you guys. If you guys think I'm gonna sit here. You got another thing coming. I'm gonna sit there and fight you. I got I got Low key, I got very upset right there because I got hit by the fucking thing. Well, that's not the portal home. Oh, I gotta kill these guys. Stop hiding, you filthy bastard. You're running for your stinking life. Alright, break the seal so I can get the hell out of here. Oh my god, we gotta wait for him to blow up into a million pieces before the seal gets broken? I'm definitely gonna get that orbs. I don't care if the timer's going down or not. That was a whole huge cache of orbs right there. Get myself a handful and try to run. Run with my hands full of them. Uh... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm not playing around. I don't care. You can do your song and dance, huff and puff, and all your posturing, all your tough guy posturing, I'm gone. You think I'm gonna sit there and fight your clawed ass? You got another thing coming, I'm gone, man. This game is O-V-E-R. <laughs> it is if I can get on top of this. Defeated by platforming at the end. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a way to go? My one biggest weakness ends up being my demise. The damn platforming. Okay, we need really needed a screen for that. Well, well shit, how do I get out of here then? Oh, there we go. Wrong door. I was gonna sit there and fight those marionettes. You got another thing coming. You got another thing. Oh my god. Oh, you guys, I'm not stopping for you guys. You know what? I was trying to do some slick stuff, but apparently I can't. I was gonna try to do that thrust move. Oh man, I can't. I gotta take these guys out first. I got just the thing. Got five of these babies. I'm not playing around. Let's get this over with. Did I kill all of them or just those two? Were there only two? There we go. I don't know why, but I thought there was more than just two. It felt like there was like four of them swiping around and 
dashing back and forth all around me. But I guess not. Oh shit. Start over. Are they gonna drop me down to these skulls again? Whatever's down here, I'm using holy water the whole time. What is this like a world tour? It's like a, it's like a grand tour of all the areas we've been in already. Can't forget about the sewer area. We gotta revisit that. Oh! Wonderful. The cage has been opened. Dante, you are not getting away. This is where you will die. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, there's no place to go. Look around. This will be your burial ground as well. It looks like he has a mixture of ketchup and mayonnaise coming from his just running through his veins or his body or whatever. All right. Fuck it. Let's holy water him to death. You're dying of thirst. Oh, that didn't do shit. Nope. At least the timer stopped. And the health is coming off pretty quick. I can't hurt him anymore. What the fuck? That looks creepy. No. We'll be okay. You can do it. What? Mother. What? What the? You can't keep a good pair of boobs down, apparently. What? Feed your power and Trish's power into your guns? Ebony and Ivory. Then use your Devil Trigger and blast a big shot into Mundus. How do I do that? Oh, take your time there, Devil Trigger. Just take your time. No rush. Not like we didn't have a counter. It looks like we have a winner. Jackpot. Ooh, sexy. I love corny one-liners like that. Actually, when Trisha's face popped up just a second ago in the middle of fighting, it kind of scared me because her eyes were like super wide. Adios. You come back, give my regards to my son, will ya? His son? What do you mean by that? Is he gonna, like, impregnate Trish right now? And he's, like, already giving hints? Like, baby, it's going down here. Trish. <laughs> can, can you imagine disputes at the dinner table between these two? Trish tries to break a fucking oven over his head like she tried with the motorcycle. I, I... Trish, devils never cry. These tears, tears are a gift only humans have. Or too late. Or a curse. Laughter's the gift, my friend, but you wouldn't know that because you got devil blood or demon blood or whatever shit you got in you. Your ancestry is full of demons. No, Trish. It's never too late. What, you guys gonna get crushed? Oh my god. Oh. What the hell? Tails? And we humans never give up. Are you ready? Oh, that, oh, that's that airplane that was up there all this time. <laughs> I was about to say, like, Tails and Sonic come crashing through. Hop on in, you guys. Let's blow this place. 
I was not expecting to see these two leaving in a in a in an old school aircraft. <laughs> he said that stiff as fuck. Fucking mannequin head. Let's rock. Oh no! Come on, you guys don't even have the luxury of inverting this for me. Oh no! You can't have a plane, a flight simulation without it being inverted. Oh, it's over with. <laughs> Oh. Ah! <laughs> Ran right into that shit! Oh my god! Oh, damn! Can't can't push start. Oh shit! Oh, we barely made that. Give me Leon and Ashley's escape on the jet ski any day. Look how similar they are too. Barely making it out with the explosion behind you and the sea in front of you. That looks familiar. Jeez, I never knew this. You could definitely tell Resident Evil 4 and Devil May Cry were conceived around the same time. Oh my god, you look jagged as hell. It's so clear. So blue. The sky is fair. It'll always be above everyone's head, no different. Wish the wish the graphics were clear as your heart. They're looking Let's choppy forget, as hell. Though, the underworld's evil is still alive. They will someday return. There's no need to worry, right? Because the world has the legendary Dark Knight Dante and his sidekick. <laughs> There's no need to worry, right? Because these tits will always be at your back, no matter what. As long as I have these hanging out. Nothing can stop us. Devil never cry. Yes. You devil never cry. Okay, great. Where's the place? We'll be right there. This one has the password. Sounds heavy. Okay. Let's get it over with in ten minutes. We can't let a single one of those suckers live. Five minutes. <laughs> More than enough. <laughs> little Devils, Team Little Devils. I'm intrigued now. I'm interested to see a team up between Trish and Dante in the future. Like these two working together, pretty awesome. Imagine what their late nights are like. Good lord, all that damn leather rubbing against each other and shit. Dante's leather and hers must sound so noisy in there when they're getting busy, huh? <laughs> Well, there it is, guys. Devil May Cry. I don't know how Trish survived. What? I thought she died. She, she came back. She fucking ghosted through the walls and saved us with her weird yellow electricity power. Her weird, her weird unidentified power. I don't know what her power comes from, but maybe that'll be expounded on. You know, I feel like this game should have had more storyline in between things. Uh, it had a lot of cutscenes and, and character moments after the fact, towards the end, which I was really enjoying just now, but not really much of it in between. It would have made this game even more sweeter if there was more narrative or more relationship or character moments and character interactions between Trish and Dante. Like, I don't buy his love or feelings for her just because he she looks like his mom. I don't feel like that was earned. You know, these two look cool together. It would be better if they had more of a character, mo more character moments together and more fleshing out between the two. Also, it would have been better if we were able to control Trish here and there. Like, I was so expecting that to be the case. I was absolutely expecting us to take control of Trish, much like we did in Onimusha 1 that I let's played on my channel. We, we assumed control of a female protagonist who was at our side. She was definitely more loyal, however, than Trish was. I can tell you that much. But we assumed control of her. I thought for sure we were going to do that here, but we didn't. I feel like that would have helped out a whole lot. It would have made me care about their team up or get even more excited about their team up. These two, I mean, they as far as they look cool together, I don't know how much chemistry they have together. And we didn't really, it just feel like it would have been better if they had had more chemistry shown between the two. More moments together, aside, aside from her trying to bash my skull in with a Kawasaki bike. 
you know. And at the end, they should have had us both riding out on bikes. Or, or, or her riding on the back of me and I'm on that same bike she tried to murder me with. That would have been way cooler. But aside from that, this was, of course, a great game. Guys, I have not played any Devil May Cry game ever. So you know what this means. We got Devil May Cry 2, 3, I, I think there's a 4. And then there's one that came out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox and all that. Xbox One and all that, I believe. I believe it can. I don't think it was a PlayStation exclusive. We got all of those to play. And right now, I must admit, this was a good time. So that's why he looked at her funny in the very opening cutscene. I remember he looked at her and he was kind of like, huh? I thought he just got, got a stiffy because she's a looker. Well, apparently it's because she looks like his mom. Executive producer Shinji Mikami, huh? <laughs> Mr. Resident Evil himself. And directed by Hideki Kamiya. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, gameplay was great. I definitely loved the atmosphere, the dark atmosphere. Um, the end levels were actually creepy, and I appreciate that. It gave me goosebumps like crazy. Epilogue. Uh oh, warming up. Are they trying to tell me that this was just a warm up and I need to play again and on harder difficulties and shit like that? This this game definitely warrants a, a replay. I'll definitely be doing that on my own. Or I might just jump into Devil May Cry 2, guys. I'm thinking once this is over with, I'm gonna jump right into it. Like Devil May Cry will be the next fucking day. Devil May Cry 2, I mean. It's all on this disc. I love that. That technology has advanced so much that you can jam three games, three fucking 10 hour plus games onto a disc, onto one single disc. You not need to download nothing. It's just all there forever and ever and ever and ever. But you know, this is the PS3 version. I am curious to see how the PS4 version or the uh, Xbox One version, the, the, the current generation version is, as far as the graphics and the cleanup I feel like hopefully maybe the cutscenes, if anybody's played it, maybe the cutscenes aren't <laughs> in 4.3 and like the menus aren't in 4.3, maybe they're full screen. Maybe they did an even better job because, you know, it looks good, the remastering looks good, but things seemed jagged and some of the textures didn't seem good. I wonder if they improved that. Oh. Stylish, absolute, bravo, cool, and dull. Damn, dull is my highest number. <laughs> I only had seven stylish, mo stylish moments, I guess. Did damn, look at all those secret missions. I did none of them. <laughs> found no secret missions. <laughs> well, I found one, but I said, F it, I didn't care. Wow, I guess that there goes your replayability right there, right? Total red orbs, uh, red orbs. 28,260. Only seven retries. That's good, right? Under 10 hours. So it's pretty much an eight hour game. Yeah. And those are the missions, right? Devil Hunter rankings. Yep. Not one A in there. <laughs> Not one single A. I mean, what do you expect from a blind playthrough while, while talking and let's playing? You know, you never do your best work. Go challenge the hard mode. Uh, no. <laughs> no, sir. I will not be doing that. At least for my channel. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe off camera. When I play this game again. Perhaps, maybe. Curse of the... Oh, I thought that said Curse of the Blood Puppies. <laughs> I was like, what? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound characteristic of this game. No extras, huh? No, no, no outfits. Nope. Dang, it's sending me right back into the game, huh? Yep. Oh, that's unlike Capcom to not have alternate outfits. No new outfits. Nope. Same old Dante. Same old Trish. That's funny. No new outfits, huh? Huh. No new weapons, no new outfits. Everything's back. Well, I got my old gun still. 
That's cool. This difficulty isn't on hard, is it? I, I will probably play this again on my own. Oh, my shit. Something was skipping just now. Either my equipment screwing up or just the game screwing up. Let's check out the main menu. Total results. Oh. Yep, everything's the same. Oh, that's gonna do it, guys. That's gonna do it for Let's Play Devil May Cry 1 HD Collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Um, I definitely enjoyed this game. Like I said, I love the atmosphere of it. I love the look of it. Um, I love the action. The action, the gameplay was great. I'm looking forward to Let's Playing 2 and 3 and all the rest of them for you guys. All blind. Um, the only gripe I have with it is not enough narrative, not enough drama, so to speak. Uh, not enough relationship between Trish and Dante. Could have used more of that. But other than that, it was a good time, and I'm pretty sure uh, Devil May Cry 2 and 3 are going to fix that, possibly. But we shall see, and I hope to see you guys there for that. This is the Game Virus. If you like this video, if you like this series, feel free to give it a like. If you want more, feel free to subscribe. If you plan on consuming more of my content, if you're going to watch Devil May Cry 2 blind and 3 blind, and Maybe even search out other playthroughs, perhaps considering donating. As little as $1 to my Patreon would be greatly appreciated, but above all, I appreciate your viewership. And I, once again, I thank you for watching. See you next time. See you next LP. See you next playthrough. Later.